That man is going to die in scandal and I will have no further mercy on him. He is going to die fighting scandals. He will die in legal battles and he will be fighting for the last shreds of his reputation. God says he's going to shame this man. I will expose the details of his sexual infidelity to his wife, his children, and the whole world. He has been grossly unfaithful to me. Gross unfaithfulness of the kind I can no longer forgive. I take my... Welcome to the moment of truth. You just heard from prophetess um how was her name now i just forgot her name now ah uh, the message she got concerning td jakes and the african pastors all of them god is really hungry and god is not going to spare this man at all you remember the case of eddie long eddie long was a very good friend of uh, td jakes and uh, Matthew Ashimolo. There was a time Matthew Ashimolo abandoned his church for three months and he was in the USA with Eddie Long. And Eddie Long often come to his church as well, KICC in the UK to preach. So this case of uh, um, T.D. Jakes is not going anywhere. So it's going to end up like Eddie Long. I want you to stay tuned to the end and hear what Celestia, yes, Prophetess Celestia has to say it's very scary she talks about uh, td jakes and about african pastor all of them all your geos stay tuned my hand off him and i reject him just like saul he will go down in a wave of scandals and impropriety that will rock his church to the foundations he is a pedophile and he is gay he is homosexual and he is not interested in women i will expose the scandals with boys and youths and i will bring out all the details so that people can know who their beloved bishop really is celestial there is a difference between a boy and a youth a boy is too small to understand or even give sexual consent you should never touch a boy sexually it is not his time a boy is to be pure and set apart for his day of covenant to his wife when you touch a boy you anger me because i hold children special i see them as protected zones parents are supposed to watch over the young and even animals in the field know this a youth is different a youth is one who is older and he is aware of his sexuality but youths should also be protected youths should also stay pure god says that coercing young people in this case young men which is what this man does he says coercing them and enticing them by giving them access to come close to the fame the money or giving them the false promises that you'll be a father figure to them. Or giving them gifts to make it easier to groom them. God says that Bishop Jakes has been with both boys and youths. And all of this is going to come out. He will be exposed and his entire empire will collapse. He didn't love me. He did not set his love upon me. He did not fix himself to be faithful to me. And so I have abandoned him. And soon the wolves will come. They will accuse him. They will tear his clothes from on him until he's naked in front of everyone. And as I was hearing this prophecy, God made that sizable man stark naked in front of me. They will see his great shame and they will be revolted by who has been teaching them, leading them, and laying hands on them all along. I will stop here for a moment to point out that God says, your pastor is a fornicator out there. You probably don't know if you have no discernment. You're sitting there and you love this man like your own father, and yet he's not faithful to his wife. He's sleeping with Deacon Franks, or he's sleeping with Deaconess Franks if he's not bent that way. And then afterwards he will say, I just feel, I just feel the movement of the Spirit, and I just want to lay my hands on you. And God says, when a fornicator lays his hands on you, that is individually laying his hands and blessing his flesh, Lock. As shepherds do, they call their sheep and they put oil on the sheep's head and they pick out all the lice and the ticks and they take care of their sheep. So when this man who has an impure sexual life lays his hands on you, or even if he says, let's rise and share the benediction church, and he raises his hands on top of you. And God says, when this, when this man begins to impart over you, you collectively, or you just in a one-on-one -on -one session, God says that you will end up receiving spirits that make you a bigger fornicator than the fornicator himself. Be careful. The Bible says lay hands suddenly on no man. Do not listen to this modern generation celestial. They are like men who are already dead in their graves. These people love sin and they make allowances for it. He said they're like dead men in their graves already. Dead how? He said they're dead because they love sin. People love sin and they constantly make allowances. And here's what they say. Let's not judge. Don't judge. You don't know his struggle. And this is not me. This is the Lord. It's too early to make these things up. And I never make things up here. I just write and repeat. Write and deliver. 
Let's not condemn him. Didn't Jesus say we should forgive? They are so blind that they can't see if the leaders are corrupt, the church will perish. They can't see that if the leaders are involved in gross sexual sin, the entire sanctuary becomes defiled and the anointing will leave them. They are sympathizers of sin. They are dead in their own trespass. And that's why they approve of those who trespass. That's why they tear down the walls of my church by sleeping with men when they are men, by sleeping with women when they are women. And then they dare to climb the pulpit and put my name in their mouth with no remorse, with not one twinge of shame, of repentance for what they have done. The bellies of the saints will roll as their leaders continue to fall. Scandals will come out and your sex tape will be floating around on the internet until you will never want to preach again. God said that the saints' bellies, people are basically going to become sick when they see these scandals. Sex tapes of pastors floating around on the internet until those pastors, they will not be able to lift their head or preach again. God said, shame is your portion. Uncovered skirts. I will lift up your skirt, my church far above your head and let everyone see your nakedness. I am braiding a whip of cords for believers. I will the leaven out of you. Watch and see. Many offended will leave. Many offended will depart and with their exit you will feel better. Do you know who's going to feel better? Righteous believers who are sick of this. With their exit you will feel better. You don't know what you need but I know. I will braid a cord of thorns for you. I will overturn the tables of the charlatans who sell salvation, who sell sacred items like oil and blood. African church, that's a shout out to you from Jesus. You keep selling those things and see what's going to happen to you, O seller in the house of God. I will whip them away from you and then whip you also for consorting with them. So God is saying he's going to whip away those who are leavened and then he's going to whip the remaining people forever daring to tolerate those others. I will whip you believers until you know truth in your inward part. This is Psalm 51, the famous psalm of repentance and purging in the presence of our fiery king. Then you will depart from the paths of unrighteousness and you will seek my true path by salvation, which is a gift. And you are expected to steward that gift so that you can be received on the last day. I will clean up inside the sanctuary. My word is already coming against the ministers who have fallen from grace. Fallen from grace means that God has given you up like Saul. Remember, when God gave up Saul, Saul didn't fall immediately. So God is done with many of these people a long time ago, but they're still in front of us putting out information, putting out Facebook and, and having conferences and people are still flocking to them because people don't know these are rejected apostate leaders who are serving things under the sea, who are serving brotherhoods. My word is coming against them. It will take time for this fall to manifest but God says it will surely manifest because he's not unrighteous and his word will not fail ministers who have totally forfeited their post fivefold ministers prophet apostle pastor evangelist teacher if I inspect you and if I see that you have failed your commission you will receive a double judgment you do not want to meet me I will be to you like a lion who meets a man on the road a man who suddenly sees a wild animal that he did not expect to see I will be to you like a bear that just means I'm going to tear you to pieces let's not pretend that lions meet people and say oh I'm so sorry please pass by here's the path you meet a lion on the road you cannot outrun that thing you cannot outfight that thing that thing comes with weight hair rage instinct cunning and a lot of sharp and tearing things you meet God in that position repent and cut off your diseased limbs and begin now to work the works of righteousness otherwise I will come to you and I will put your lamp into darkness I will take away your candlestick and for some of you that that will mean eternal darkness and gnashing of teeth. Repent, make straight the way of the Lord. And that is the word concerning Bishop T.D. Jakes going all the way back from the first time God ever brought him to my attention, showed me that there is more behind the curtain of this man, that this man has predilections, that this man has preferences that have nothing to do with this Bible, this teaching, that he is serving an overlord who is not the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. And that not only he will fall, but the stars are coming down, all the bright stars in the political arena. God is saying that your full shame, the wall Wall Street Journal will carry your entire history dating back to the time your father planted an apple tree and you used to sit under the apple tree and dream of being a politician up to now when you fall in scandal. It will all come out. Every arena. God already dedicated two prophecies to Beyonce alone. So don't think that anyone is too high up there that the father can't touch. He will touch. And whoever he says, I will be here with my trusty tablet bringing forth the word of the Lord. I am Celestial and this is the Master's Voice. You just heard it all. God is moving as is using everybody to start coming out and start talking. When Odulele was caught doing the same thing, touching the boys, he went to prison. 
And uh, Oyedeko was mocking him. A lot of pastors was mocking him. They disassociate themselves from him and all that. Look at them now. God is exposing them. A lot of your pastors are, are gay, gay. They do both men and women. Ah, that's why I keep saying to you, don't give your head to them. Don't let them lay your, they are 50 hands on your head. That lady is saying the same thing, no. So that means I'm not mad. It's not me that is mad now. If everybody is saying the same thing to you. Anyway, no God for yourself, oh. There's no God anywhere. Salvation is personal. I see you on my next video. Bye for now.